Now watch this. YouTube automation. I'm sure you've seen YouTube decide to start YouTube automation Guy Academy. What I have done here today is truly I'm pausing it here. You probably get the idea, but if you want to watch the full intro, you can check out this video. So, how was it? Pretty cool, huh? See, this intro wasn't just randomly edited with flashy effects. Every single frame, sound, and transition was designed with a clear purpose. Now, let me ask you something. What do you think makes a good intro? Should it be catchy? Should it hook the viewer instantly? Should it clearly introduce the topic? Or should it seamlessly transition into the main video, perhaps? The answer? Yes! These are the key qualities of an effective intro. And when based on the comments on my past videos, my intros check all these boxes. But what exactly makes them work? Three major elements combined to create these highly engaging, fast-paced, yet clear intros are the thinking behind the intro, the visuals, and the sound. There's one more crucial factor that has helped me not just here but on my other channels as well to keep viewers hooked throughout the video. We'll get to that later in this breakdown, but first, let's start with something that happens before even opening the editing software, which is the thinking behind the intro. Now, this includes understanding the core message, choosing the right hook, defining the purpose of the intro. But before any editing began, everything started with the script. As I mentioned earlier, a well-crafted intro isn't just about flashy visuals. It's about understanding the core message of the video. The first step was analyzing the script and identifying the most important topic. And in this case, that was automation. But simply saying automation is taking over wasn't enough. The goal was to make the audience feel like automation is everywhere. That's where the intro concept came from. Instead of just stating the fact, I used real clips from YouTube videos discussing automation and overlapped their dialogues. This created an overwhelming effect, symbolizing how automation is becoming an unavoidable conversation online. Now for the hook part, I had multiple options. A shocking statement, a thought-provoking question, or a visually striking moment. After brainstorming on these different approaches, I landed on a fast-paced montage with a story. The story? Someone searching for YouTube automation and then suddenly getting flooded with endless videos on the topic. We'll dive deeper into the techniques behind this flashy sequence later, but before that, let's talk about one last important aspect of this stage. The purpose of the intro. Before jumping into the editing software, I needed to have a clear understanding of the purpose of this intro. An intro can serve different purposes, and for channels like ours, the most common goals are hooking the viewers and building anticipation so that they stay for the rest of the video, providing a clear idea of what the video will cover. If you want someone to listen to you for 10 minutes, you have to let them know why they should care, and setting the mood of the video. For example, if an intro uses cinematic shots, calm music, and slow-paced visuals, it signals a patient, in-depth discussion. But in my case, I love teaching fast, delivering maximum knowledge in the least amount of time. So my intro needed to be fast-paced, energetic, and engaging to match that style. But before even opening the editing software, there was another huge decision to make. The visual strategy. Now I'm gonna walk you through the visual concept, but first answer this. Should the intro be clean and professional, or should it be chaotic and fast-paced? For real, I'm just curious, let me know in the comments. After completing the first stage, I was clear on three things. What to highlight, the best hook for the intro, and what the intro needed to accomplish. The goal of this intro was to highlight the word automation, while showing how across the internet automation is often portrayed as an easy money-making hack, but the reality is something else. Now, it was time to start editing, and the first step was deciding the visuals. If you take a single frame from the intro and remove all the effects, it looks empty, slow, and uninteresting. The final version works because each element was designed to grab attention. The visuals were kept fast-paced, various overlays, visual effects, and animations were used to add depth. On average, the frame changes every one and a half seconds, keeping the sequence visually dynamic. With rapid transitions, bright colors, and constantly changing elements, the viewer stays engaged without even realizing it. And here's something most people don't consciously notice. Nothing is ever still. If an element isn't shaking, it's 
either sliding, stretching, or glitching. Even the animations are eased in, making movements feel smoother yet more impactful. This subtle but intentional design ensures that every frame feels alive, maintaining the viewer's attention from start to finish. Now, the other important element is text. A wrong selection of font, size, or color can easily degrade the quality of your videos. So, think wisely before picking any font or adjusting its properties. As we know, text is a crucial pillar of a well-crafted video. So, instead of using basic captions, I took a different approach. Every fifth text appears in the center with bright colors, making certain words stand out and feel more impactful. This helps guide the viewer's attention to key phrases without overwhelming them with too much on-screen text. Additionally, pop animations were used to the captions, making them feel more lively and engaging. To further enhance the visual experience, distortion effects were applied to screen recordings and screenshots. This subtle movement prevents static elements from feeling flat and instead keeps the energy flowing throughout the intro. And all of these elements work together to ensure that there is never a dull moment. But here's the thing, visuals alone aren't enough. Sound. The feeling of your videos. Trust me on this one, sound plays an even bigger role than visuals. So much so that it's one of the most important factors in this intro. That's right, sound controls emotions. From the slow, tension-building cinematic music to the rising intensity of risers. Every audio element in this intro was strategically placed to create an emotional response. Sound effects were added to every visual element making them feel more impactful. Dialogue overlapping and echo effects added depth and urgency. Pauses and silences created contrast because when everything is fast and loud, a sudden moment of silence with a black screen can feel even more powerful. This combination of dynamic visuals and emotionally driven sound design is what makes the intro truly captivating. All this work done in script analysis, making engaging visuals and immersive sound design makes the intro not just watchable but impossible to ignore. But wait, remember when I mentioned there was one more very important factor behind this intro? Well, now's the time to talk about it. But, 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 before that, I have one quick message from today's sponsor, NextLev. <clears throat> There's no need to worry about finding a new niche and even competitors in the same niche. NextLev is an AI tool specifically for YouTube that will help you level up your content creation. It has an AI niche finder that can help you find new winning niches and even find and learn from competitors within the same niche. If it's something you'd be interested in, check the link in the description. And now back to the video. So that very important factor behind this intro is pace. Let's dive deeper into the power of pacing. Why this intro felt so engaging? This intro wasn't just a random sequence of chaotic edits, it was a structured buildup designed to control the viewer's attention. It begins with a visual of the YouTube search bar where YouTube automation is typed in. Then, screen recordings of real YouTube videos discussing automation start appearing. This sets the tone making you feel like automation is everywhere. The background music here is dramatic and slow, building tension. This phase lasts 8 to 10 seconds and ends with a riser, creating a sense of anticipation. And then, notice how the pacing shifts. The energy rises as we see fast cut visuals of the automation hype. The handsome host appears, which is me, speaking in an energetic tone, and the keywords are highlighted in bold, bright colored text in the center of the screen. Then suddenly, we repeat the same idea, but faster. The YouTube clips are now cut down to just one word, automation. This word is repeated again and again, back to back. Dialogues are overlapped, echo effects are added, and the pace is at its peak. Everything, audio, visuals, and effects hits the viewers all at once, and then boom! A final riser hits the last note, and then complete silence, a black screen, a moment of stillness. This brief pause gives the viewer a second to process what just happened. But you might be wondering, why use this kind of pacing? Because repetition amplifies impact. You see something slow, then you see it faster, and then you see it even faster. By the time the intro reaches its peak, your brain is fully locked in. It overloads your senses at first, making you feel the chaos surrounding automation. 
Then it slows down, giving your brain a moment to breathe, making you curious to understand what's happening. And then just when your brain is seeking clarity, the main video begins. That's the real secret behind this intro. It's not just about effects or flashy transitions, it's about controlling emotions, building curiosity and keeping the audience hooked, all before the video even started. Now that you understand the psychology behind the intro, let's break down how it was actually made. This next part isn't about psychology, but I know it's something that will be really helpful for you. Instead of watching hundreds of tutorials just to find the name of a specific effect, I'm going to break it all down for you right here, right now. Let's start with the first frame. A screen recorded video is cropped and layered with particle overlays to add movement. A calm shake effect from my own preset is applied to make the screen recording feel more dynamic. The scene transitions from the search bar recording to YouTube video screen recordings using a shake transition, again from my preset. The curved corner effect you see is achieved using the roughened edges effect in Premiere Pro with specific settings. The slide-in transition used for the text? That's another preset I created. The host's slight shake effect? That comes from a combination of Calm Shake and Wiggle Shake, both from my preset pack. The character transformation effect was already covered in my previous video, so check that out if you want to learn more. And a lot is happening in the background that you might not even notice. Every screen recording clip from earlier in the intro is layered again, and this time with a lens distortion effect to create smooth curved edges. A subtle chromatic VR aberration is added in one of the frames to achieve that glitch effect. And... That's it. That's the complete effects breakdown of this intro. So now you know, the psychology behind a highly engaging intro isn't just about flashy effects or cool transitions. It's about controlling what the audience feels and guiding their attention every second. From understanding the script and choosing the right hook to designing the perfect visuals and sound, every element plays a role in making an intro impossible to ignore. Alright, let me summarize the whole components I talked about in this video. We started with the thought process, identifying the core message, selecting a compelling hook, and setting a clear purpose. Then we moved to the visuals, where fast-pacing dynamic text and seamless effects kept the energy high. Finally, sound design took everything to the next level, building tension, creating impact with pauses, and making sure every moment felt alive. And that's why this intro worked. It wasn't just random editing, it was designed to hook you. So the next time you create an intro, don't just think about how to edit, think about why things work. Apply these psychological tricks and your intros will instantly become more powerful. And with that, we wrap up this breakdown. Now go create something epic. Hey editor, where are you going? I was sitting here watching with the viewers too. Oh God, yeah, you were here. All right then, let's wrap this up together. Yes. So viewers, you must have learned a lot from this video. So stay tuned for more. Peace. Peace.